Hello everyone, welcome to the 18th lecture of this video series and in today's video we are going to learn about TDS equations. So what are they? We are going to look into them in a moment and uh, with TDS equations we also will derive energy equations and solve uh, one or two problems from this okay so the tds equations are direct application of Maxwell relations. So via this equation, we obtain TDS in terms of other thermodynamic quantities. So, we obtain TDS in terms of other thermodynamic quantities. So, naturally the question arises how this is done and we are going to look into them in a moment. Okay. So, to start let us derive the first TDS equation. Okay. So, We will start by writing the entropy as a function of P and V. So basically our entropy which is given by S is a function of P and V and from this we can write the differential form of entropy as TTS equal to del S del T at constant V plus del S del V at constant T. So, what TDS will be? That will be T times del S del T at constant V plus T times del S del V at constant T. Now, this term we will look into later, but if we focus on the second term here, We will see that we have obtained this term in our previous video where we discussed about Maxwell relation. So, we have obtained that del S del V is equal to del P del T at constant V and this is at constant T. So, we can just plug in this expression from this expression into this equation and we are going to obtain TDS 
equal to p dot sorry that will be the list empty so let me quickly remove that the list lt at constant p plus t del p del t at constant v oh, okay so here i have forgotten the bt and dv terms so here also there will be a dt dv term and here also there will be a dt and dv term okay so now we can see that we can write the tds in terms of derivative with respect to t only so the first term now we can look into this and we can write it as cvdt how we are obtaining that we will simply do the derivative here and we will see how easy it is to obtain this so anyway let me complete this equation dv okay so this is our first tds equation Okay. Now, to see how we can write the first term in this expression as CVDT, we will simply start by the first law of thermodynamics. Which is TDS equal to DU plus PDV and recall from the first lecture of this video that CV which is the specific heat at constant volume is given as del U del T at constant V or we can write it as du dt at constant V. So from this equation we can easily see du dt is nothing but tds dt plus p dv dt and at constant volume this term is going to be 0. So from that we can obtain that cv is du dt at constant volume equal to t this will again be evaluated at constant volume t del s dt at constant v. So let me put a box around this also. Okay. So now we have derived the first dt equation and we will proceed to derive the second one now. Okay. So, to derive the second TDS equation, 
we will consider S to be independent function of T and P. Okay, so here P, P, R independent variables. So we can write here that P S is del S del T at constant P dt plus del S del T at constant T dp. Similarly, we will obtain that Tds is T times del S del T at constant P dt plus del S del T at constant T dp times T. Now again, we can simplify this equation by using one of the maximum relation on the second term. So, and here we will use that del S del P is equal to minus del V del T. So, this is at constant T and this is at constant P. So, these equations they can be easily uh, righted uh, they can be easily written from the mnemonic that we discussed in the earlier video. So, we can easily check that this is COS process to verify a negative term comes because T and P are on the different side of the equity sign. So, that is how I am just writing this equation without consulting the videos. Okay. So, this is the Maxwell relation to be used. So, if you do this, then we will simply obtain that TDS equal to T del S del T P at function P dt plus minus T del V del T at constant P dP and in the equation the first time again can be written as T del S del T at constant P is equal to CP. So, our TDS equation becomes TDS equal to CP dt minus T del V del T constant P dp. So, let me put a box around this equation. So, this is the second TDS equation. Okay. So, now we are going to look into the third TDS equation. This can be derived without using Maxwell relation. So, let us do that.
So third this equation again here we write that P and V are the independent variables. So, S will be S as a function of P and V. Okay, so our DS then will be del S del P at constant V dP plus del S del V at constant P dV. And simply TDS will be T del S del P at constant V dP plus T del S del V at constant P dV. Now we can use a property of partial derivatives like this del f del x at constant y can be written as del f del z times del z del x at constant y. So, this can be again written as del f del z at constant y times del z del x at constant y where f x y and z are arbitrary. So, we can use this knowledge in this equation and rewrite it like TDS is equal to T del S del T times del T del P. So, notice that here we are writing the term del S del P in two terms such that we can obtain one term as del S del T and we are doing this just because we want to write this, write this T del S del T as CV or CP depending on which variable V or P is getting constant, sorry which variable is kept constant, okay. So, this was evaluated at constant volume the dp plus we will simply do this trick here on the second term again and it will be del S del T times del T del V at constant pressure dv. This can be simplified to T del S del T P times del T del P V dP plus T del S del T P times del T del V P dV and here we can simply identify that T del S del T at constant V is C V and T del S del T at constant P is C P. So, with that information we can write this equation as T D S equal to C V del T del P dP plus C P del T del V at constant P dV. Okay, so this is our third TDS equation and let me put a box around this equation also.
So this is third PDS. equation okay so till now we have learned how to derive the TTS equations using Maxwell relations so these TTS equations are direct application of Maxwell relations which we discussed in the previous lecture okay so now we'll learn about energy equations So, there are two energy equations. First, we will derive the first energy equation. So, here, this is very similar to deriving the TTS equations. So, here, instead of entropy, we write the internal energy as um, a function of two independent variables. So, here we assume that T V are the independent variables and so our internal energy E will be written as U T comma V. So we obtain that T U is equal to del U del T at constant V dt plus del u del v at constant t dv and here we can again consult the first law of thermodynamics which states that tds equal to du plus ptv or du equal to tds minus ptv so you can simply obtain that del u del v at constant temperature is given by minus p okay so we can plug this expression in this equation oh i actually made a small mistake here so this will not be just minus p so let me delete this here this will not be minus p because we are obtaining it at constant temperature not constant entropy so del u del v at constant temperature will be T del S del V at constant temperature minus P. So there will be two terms, not single. So we can put a box around this equation and we will use this one in this equation. But before doing that, we can identify that del S del V at constant T can be rewritten using our Maxwell relation which will be del P del T at constant V. So we are going to plug this form in this expression and we will obtain finally del u del v at constant t equal to t 
del P del T at constant V minus P. So now if you use this form, in this equation we will obtain that du equal to which was the first term was d del u del t v at constant v dt and the second term was del u del v at constant t dv. In the first term we can write as c v dt we have done this many times and the second term we can write as t del p del t at constant v minus p times dv. So, this is our du. So, this is the first energy equation. So, let me put a box around this. So, this is first energy equation, okay. And now, we are also going to derive the second energy equation. As you can easily guess, here T and P will be the independent variables. So, following the same protocol, we will write u as function of t and p and du will be equal to del u del t at constant p dt plus del u del p at constant t dp and again from first law of thermodynamics we will obtain that t u equal to t d s minus p d v. So, del u del p is equal to t del s del p minus p del v del p at constant temperature. And we can use an Excel relation here. So, you can use the form del S del P at constant T equal to minus del V del T at constant P. So, you will obtain del U del P at constant T equal to T, we take the minus sign here, del V del D at constant P minus P del V 
del p at constant t. Okay, so we write the form of du using this equation here. Basically, we will replace this expression in this form of du. So, what we had was du equal to del u del t at constant p dt plus del u del p at constant t dp. Again, we can simply identify the first term as cp dt. So, du equal to cp dt minus t del v del t at constant p minus sorry plus because we have taken the minus outside here p del v del p at constant t times dp. Okay. So, this is the second energy equation and let me put the box around this also. Okay, so now we have completed looking into this equation and energy equation and next we are going to do a simple problem to see how these equations can be used. Okay, so while doing the problem, it will be very clear to us why we need this many equations. So there were three TDS equations and two energy equations. Okay, so now we are going to do one problem. So here is one example problem. So the problem states that a real gas which of a Vander Waals equation of state a kept in a container which has temperature T0 and volume V0. If volume of the container changes to V such that the temperature of the gas becomes T, then what is the change in entropy? So we have to calculate the change in entropy and we can easily assume that here we have to use one of the previous equations. Now what is the difficult thing about this problem that we cannot solve it without using a TTS equation? So, it is the thing that unlike the previous thermodynamic processes that we encounter like isochoric, isobaric, isothermal processes here uh, it is not stated that if any of the quantities is kept constant. So, this is kind of a general process and that is why we need to use a TDS equation. So, let us start here. So, uh, real gas of a vendor was situation of state which you know is given by P plus A by V square V minus B is equal to 
RT. So this is the Van der Waals equation of state of real gases. So here both temperature and volume are changing and we do not know how P is changing. Okay. So we can use the first TDS equation which states that TDS is equal to CVDT plus del P del T at constant volume times dV. Now that we can see that here both terms that are appearing one have one is evaluated at constant volume and another is also evaluated at constant volume but this formula does not restrict us in any way to use this for this problem because the total entropy change that you are going to calculate from integrating ds that is not restricted by these assumptions okay so we can write ds here as cv dt over t plus 1 over t del p del t at constant volume dv and here we can see p plus a by v square is equal to rt by v minus p which is obtained from this relation 1 so del p del t at constant volume will be nothing but rt by v minus b derivative of with respect to t so this will just be r by v minus b so you can plug that from here and we will obtain ds equal to cv dt by t plus 1 over t r v minus b tv and then the change in entropy let us denote it by delta s so this is the let us denote it by delta s and this will be given as integration from initial to final state ds which will be in turn equal to cv initial to final state dt over t plus 1 over t or rather r over t integration initial to final dv over v minus b now let us clearly write what are the initial and final state for this problem so initial state is i denoted by t0 and v0 and the final state is denoted by f where this is the temperature is t and the volume is v okay so now we have delta is equal to cv t0 to t integration of dt over t plus r by t integration of v0 to v dv over v minus p okay so i have made 
a small mistake here in writing the formula of a first reduce equation. I missed a t term here because uh, you can check it from the dimensionality that the dimension was not matching. So you can also check from this formula here that TDS is CVDT plus T del P del T at constant VTV. So this T term was missing here. So that was a mistake on the formula. So the equations will be slightly modified. One by T term here will not be present. Here also will not be present. Here it will just be R and here it will also just be R. Okay. So we can write it proper way. Okay. So now let us do the integrations. So delta S is C V and this integration is simply given by ln t and using the limits we will obtain ln t over t0 plus r we can obtain this integration as ln v minus b by v0 minus b so this is the change in entropy for our case let me write it clearly delta s is equal to cv ln t by t0 plus r ln v minus b by v0 minus v okay so let me put a box around this equation so this is our answer which gives the change in entropy for a real gas following Van der Waals equation of state where temperature and volume was changing. So if you look at the question, this was the thing that we were asked to calculate the change in entropy and this is our answer then. Okay, so I think we can stop today's video here. In today's video, we learned about EDS equations and energy equations, which can be obtained using Maxwell relations. And we also looked at an, at an example problem where we used one of the TDS equations to calculate the change in entropy for a real gas following Van der Waals equation. Okay, so bye for today.